This is what we all really want. The two shorter lines combined exactly equal the third. This is a more balanced image. New standard of beauty. My name is Gary Martinez and the topic I chose was the golden ratio. Now the golden ratio can be used for many different things such as finding perfect proportions in buildings and in art. But the one that interested me the most was finding golden ratios in your face. So my question is... Is there a correlation between the number of golden ratios in a face without makeup and with makeup? What is the golden ratio? The golden ratio is referred to as the perfect or the golden number, and it is symbolized using a phi, which is the 21st letter in the Greek alphabet. In numbers, the golden ratio is equivalent to 1.618033399, and the numbers go on. The golden ratio is formed by dividing the line into two parts. Let's say it's divided into parts A and B. When the golden ratio is done correctly, the whole length divided by the long part A should be equal to the long part A divided by the short part B, meaning A plus B over A should equal to A over B, and they should all equal to 1.6. With this, the golden spiral was created, where the spiral gets wider with every quarter turn it makes, and the initial start is the golden ratio. Also, the golden ratio mask, which is the method I will be using, this mask contains the ideal face using golden ratio proportions. My prediction is that there will be a correlation and the number of golden ratio will increase in the model's face with makeup as opposed to no makeup. I will be overlaying the golden ratio mask on the models both before and after in order to see if the number of golden ratios has increased, decreased, or stayed the same. With the golden ratio mask overlaid on the makeupless face, you can see that the head height and the head width almost perfectly follow the proportions of the golden ratio with the exception of the jawline and the chin which are a little bit wider and longer than what the mask proposes. The cheeks are also almost perfectly proportional to the golden ratio, but the mask does indicate that they could be a little bit sharper in order to fit inside the lines. The eyes also almost follow the golden ratio, but one of the eyes is more out of the frame than the other. The eyebrows, they begin to follow the arch, the nose bridge also does follow the golden ratio, upset the nose flare, which is a little bit wider than what the mask says it should be. The makeupless face had a variety of golden ratios, so with the makeup, you can see that the golden ratios increase. The jawline and the chin now follow the golden ratio to a proportion, as well as the cheekbones, they are a bit sharper. The eyes, now they are proportionate, as contrary to the makeupless face, which had one eye that wasn't proportionate. The flare of the nose is now to the golden ratios mask. The lips are also fit more than they did before, but they are still not perfect to the golden ratio. The prediction was proven true because although the makeupless face had a lot of golden ratios, there was still an increase with the golden ratios or perfect proportions in the face with makeup. To answer my question, there is a correlation between the number of golden ratios in a face with makeup and without makeup because in this case the number of golden ratios increased with makeup. The number of golden ratios you initially start with could be different depending on your facial structure. So in the end there could be an increase or decrease or it could not change at all whether you have makeup or no makeup because everyone's facial structure is different.